And look what at a that. place you brought that me. That is beautiful. It's the most amazing villa. Yes, it's a villa vaguarnera of Bagheria, and the princess lives here. Principessa Vittoria. We're in a palace, yes. and the principessa lives here. So we have to cook something really spectacular. I'm going to get Enzo finally to cook. The semifreddo di mandorla at last. He's going to do the semifreddo. I'm going to do a pesto with almonds and a bit of fettuccine. And, and I'll do the macco. And you do the macco. That's all right. And, and then later, I'm going to take you up there and we're going to cook the wild boar. In the mountains. Let's, let's go to cook. Come on in. Yes, and it is indeed a palace, a real one at that, and home to the Princess Vittoria Aliata of Valguanera and Villafranca. The palace is just a few miles from Palermo, in the town of Bagaria, a much favoured area in the past by the Sicilian nobility, no doubt drawn by the views. Principessa, we are in your kitchen here, I hope you don't mind. No, no, I hope you, you cook something nice. I think Enzo's yes. doing something that you like. Yes, yeah. what are you doing? Macco. Macco di fave. Ah, Buonissimo. Tell me, what goes in? What's what goes in? in? Look at this. You have Onions, Onions and garlic, our organic garlic. I just check yeah. it because I want to make sure that he's that. Yeah, the, the, the garlic, it was yeah. grown in here, in this garden. Look at that. It's here. Oh, this is your garden. It's uneven. Yes. I produce because five it's a, hectares of organic garlic. It's organic. Yes. And what are you cooking out of? Yes, sorry. I'm going to make uh, something very simple here. I'm going to make a pesto with all these lovely nuts here. Mm. I, I heard that you're a big fan of these. Yes. Uh, my great uncle wrote about it 200 years ago. <laughs> really? Oh, so he knew already what was going to yes. happen. So this is the book that we're talking about. Yes, this is and, the book. It's and, full of recipes that are even vegan ones. Cucina vegetariana and naturismo crudo. Yes, he calls it raw, raw food. Raw food and also vegetarian cooking. And uh, what he called this, his, uh, he called it gastrosophy because it was the philosophy of proper eating because you become what you eat. So right. you better eat properly. I have to get to your attention because now I'm going to put uh, an element of this recipe that is very, very... Okay. It smells all the house. It's uh, fennel seeds and I'm going to put in there. I do I like love it. fennel seeds. I love fennel seeds. They're so good seeds. for your digestion. They are. You know. uh, so do you cook the fennel seeds out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yes, cook, yeah. Yes, you see. Look, smell. Mm, it smells amazing. Mm. I love yes, fennel seeds. Oh, mm. it smells. Wonderful. Yes. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to make a pesto eventually and I'm going to use cacio cavallo. Uh -huh. yes. That's your parmesan, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes, yes. Eh? Do you like cacio cavallo? I love cacio cavallo. Please say yes. yes. Do you like bruschetta with pomodoro and basilico? Of course, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm sure it will be very good and I'll come and taste it. Thank you very much. Work properly. We'll see you in 10 minutes. Yes. Okay. Bye. Good. Well, she told me to pound this properly, Enzo. Yeah, and I'm going this to put some celery here. Yeah? Mm. Sometimes the... blenders work. <laughs> yeah, the blender no, is easier. I oh, know. Can I put some more olive oil in there? Please. Helps. <clears throat> Thank you. Now a bit of cacio cavallo in there. This is like a raw dressing for the pasta. I'm not yes, really going to cook. Mix all together. I'm not really no, going to no, cook. No, no. I'm just, just, just saute it up. up saute yeah. it. Yeah. By the way, this is the principessa's olive oil. Yeah, I think it's principessa here. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've got, I've got a present here. Yeah? Look, she signed, signed it. She signed <laughs> one. This is going to be worth a fortune in England. <laughs> yeah. Principessa olive oil. So this house, Enzo, how old was it? Years. Years and years and years. Yes. Eh? Long time. It belongs to the family yeah? for 400 years. So what is in there? Almond pine nuts and walnuts. That's it. It's, what a mix of it's nuts. An absolute, it's an absolute joy of protein. Yes. You know that? Very, very good. And now yeah. what I'm going to do, this is ready. Can I? Yeah. Do you put some pepper? No. no Why no not? Pepper. I don't like pepper in pesto. Really? No, not really. Oh, you didn't put pepper I in didn't there. do that. What are you <laughs> Why don't you put some parsley in it as well? Yeah, and I haven't got it. <laughs> We shall ask the principessa if she likes basil. Yeah. Sorry, not we'll basil. Parsley. Parsley. We will ask later. Okay, so this is what I'm doing here as well is a little bruschetta topping. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing two or three dishes here in about two or three yeah. minutes. Yeah, I've got uh, the toasted bread already. You know what I'm going to do? You know what the stalks do? of the basil? Yes. 
I'm going to cook these because I don't like throwing anything away because no, my mum used to shouldn't. cook this way. Okay, so I'm going to fry this. These are the, the stalks, if you like. So what are you going to do with it? Okay. And I've never fry, seen fry the stalk it. being fried. No, I know you didn't. No, I will now. Something you said. I'm learning a few things of, uh, from you. I, I never thought I would, I'm but... A, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit surprised with you sometimes. That's, that's <laughs> not here or there, really. <laughs> well, let's better not talk about that. And then this lovely garlic that, that uh, the Principessa gave me from uh, her farm here, the organic farm. This, it's all organic in Sicily. Everywhere I go, Everything. I seem to find organic vegetables, organic garlic, organic meat, organic fish, organic everything. Mediterranean diet is good. Mediterranean diet, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so you just need to saute this with a bit of garlic for a couple of seconds, okay? We've got some pe fresh pasta here that's going into this water. It's sorted, that takes two minutes. Okay, and then I'm, I'm done, really. The pasta needs to go in there now. In there? We're going to toss the... Yeah. Mm. This is, a, this is a, a recipe that I'm using the princess's ingredients. Because we're here and it's, the least I can do is to show off a garlic. And I didn't, I didn't know really how to do it. You know, and I think this is probably the best way of doing it. Oh, the best way. That's okay. A... And then now, what I'm going to do is I'm Your going lovely to add nuts pesto. this lovely pesto. But to be honest, I don't need the fire anymore. You know, that's it, raw. That's it, this is a raw dressing. We need, we need to leave it nice and loose. Okay, we don't want it too sticky. Okay, this because is a this nice is a... and loose dressing. And it's just heated up, just a, enough heat on that. Okay, a little finish of the beautiful Cajo Cavallo. Can you try this in the pan before I plate it up? You like? Yes? Wait. Is it good enough for a princess? It is beautiful. So, this is my version of a Sicilian pesto, if you like. It's essentially a soup. It's, it's a soup, broad but it's a thick, a thick soup. Thick soup. Thick soup. A broad this bean soup. Is, yes, broad bean soup. With all load of goodness in there. That's right. This uh, all. What herb right. is it goes in there? Fennel. Fennel seeds. Fennel seeds. Well, that's and, not a herb. That's a celery. But celery. Celery. There you go. Okay, let's try and blend that for starters. Okay, I'll do it again. Olive oil inside there. That's it. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's it. Beautiful. And this is uh, fresh. The mackerel. Fresh food. I love it. I've Are got you going to serve it in here? I don't know. I'm thinking oh, white one. On the, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's green, so it would be nice contrast. Look. Look how thick it is. Look how thick it is. Whoa, that's oh. a soup and a half, isn't it? And uh, a toasted. Yeah. Put that on top of the bread, maybe, no? Ah, you got to look at that. That's it, Tenzo. Don't do anything else. It looks beautiful. That's what good, a yeah. joy this has been, isn't it? Un, un, un po' di olio. What a joy. Yes. 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 Un po di olio. That's your olive oil, so you can't complain. It's so <laughs> important. Would you like some bread or mm. no? Really Warner. Good. Yes, really good. Can we ever come back wonderful. one day? Wonderful, you have to come back and uh, let's all cook together a wonderful, some wonderful dinner for, for some guests, okay? Fantastic. Yeah, we'll do a big banquet. Who was cooking in this Sophia kitchen last Loren week? Sofia Loren cooked in this kitchen. When? Sofia Loren was here last ago. week. 15 days ago, <laughs> Sofia Loren yes, was here yes. cooking in this kitchen. Yes. And then now they, they so let now you in. So now you see where you are. Oh, see. it's incredible. Yeah, see, <laughs> thank you. Lovely, thank you lovely. So much. Principessa. Welcome back, Grazie. so welcome back. Grazie, a presto. That was food fit for a princess. Well done, gentlemen. You've got ovens, you've got freezers, you've got all the mod comms you need. Everything. And you've been wanting to do this dessert. So let, let me see what you're going to cr create for me. I'm going to melt uh, some uh, chocolate. Where's that chocolate from? That's from, it's a local chocolate. In Modica, we are very famous for chocolate. What then, kind of chocolate is it? Dark chocolate. And you melt yep. it. And you melt it. So what you do, you heat up the, the pan, put the chocolate there, and then you do on the bain marie here. And, the and, you, finish steel, it the and you finish it in the bain marie. Melting nicely. Would you do that water. In maybe in a, 
in a plastic bowl or a, or we can a, do in a plastic bag or glass bowl. I'm using what I found here. Can you pass me the extra virgin olive oil, please? Egg for the chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This is quite a little surprising. bit. Well, extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I'll put this on the side. Nice. And uh, I'm going to do now my zabaione. Before I went to school, I remember as a child, I, my mom used to do me a, a little zabaione. But it was cold. It was, I mean, it was done, it wasn't wet like you're, gonna, you're about to do in uh, bain -Marie. How do you used to do it? Just uh, with, yeah. uh, with the sugar. They're saying that uh, it's Sicilian because uh, I think it's Sicilian. I can't, I can't promise you that uh, it's Sicilian. Well, you're using a Sicilian uh, wine, don't yeah, you? Yeah, Sicilian marsala, so mm -hmm. must be Sicilian. Then I'm going to put my marsala. Yes. A little bit of marsala. And uh, start to put here. I put white wine on it as well, do you? Yes. Oh, you do? Yes. So is this the one that, you know, in the yeah. 80s, with the way they used yes. to come in front Everyone, of you? Know, every it. restaurant, every Italian restaurant used to do a zabaione. It's the same recipe, basically, is it? Yes, it's the same recipe. It's mm -hmm. already bubbling up. It changes its color, doesn't it? It changes its color. And, uh, you know, it grows. It, it raises because all the air goes into the egg. And uh, with the heat, it raises up. Put in the bowl the there with... The, the other ingredients that I told you, which is... Which is almond honey. Yes. And almond jam. That's right. Very good. This is... Um, La Principessa has given me this, so it must be amazing. This yeah. honey. Yeah, miele. Oh, lovely. Look at that. And then you want me to put almond jam. Yes. One to give it the flavor, because uh, a lot of... That's enough. Yeah. Right. And uh, what happens uh, after this? Okay, I've got, I've got after, my mix. Can you test this zabayoni if it's good enough for you? Because I have to always... Ow, that's hot, man. How can it be hot? You it's are a chef. You can, it can't be, it can be hot. Okay, Incredible. so that's the consistency you want. Yes. You want to see the whisk going through like that. And I get another... Okay, Who's now we're putting it here, yeah? Yes. There you go. That's it. That's nice. Voila. Now you can use the with the spoon here to mix up. Okay, we're gonna mix this now. What else do I need, Enzo? It needs to cool down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're gonna put. Uh, does it have to be cold, or does it have to be? Or can it be warm? It can be warm, mm -hmm. but uh, not too warm. Not too warm. Not too warm. Right, the zabaglione feels. Cool enough now. I'm going to get my ice cream and uh, we'll finish off. Go on then. That's a very nice vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. You can make your own if you know how to. Otherwise, what you do? Just get some of vanilla ice cream. And now I need to churn it together. Yeah. And okay. uh, I get my whipped cream. Okay, so the ice cream is melted now. Yeah, but if you have Is it to, mental, yeah? Yeah, it's mental. You mold it with the, the whipping cream. Mm -hmm. And the whip, the whipped cream is just cream. Yes. Nothing else. Nothing else. Okay, so I don't need to do anything else to this. Nothing else. This goes in the freezer as it is. As it is. Yes. What we do, we just put in there, really? and we yeah, and we take it out in a very moment when it's uh, stiffen up. We take it out. Stiffen up. You yeah. mean when it's fr frozen? Frozen. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Stiffen up. Put it on the top shelf of this. Nice and, and when it's stiffing up, I bring it yes, up. Yes, please. <laughs> what is he like? And this is um, the one we made this morning, and it's now almost there. You don't need it. It, it, does, it never gets frozen frozen, does it? No, it doesn't. That's why it's called semi-freddo. Semi-freddo. It's, uh, it's, semi it's always... You see? So now you're going to do your painting, are you? Yes, it's nice. This I is, like to paint. This is Enzo's art. Enzo art, look. That's before you have a drink. And then I put some here, just uh, coming down. On the side. On the oh, side. that looks nice. I hope you Look get in this at home. That's all over the place. Almonds, I mean. Almonds, yeah. Well, yeah. The, then the nuts family, the almonds. Okay. <laughs> this is a, a summer, spring, winter, <laughs> autumn, delish dessert. Mm.
Yes, that's quite delicious and very easy on the eye. Unlike this, a storm moving in. I can't believe we left that sunny palace to come all the way up here. There better be a good reason. Why we come up here? And it's raining. Yeah, it's the only place I could find the wild boar. And the guy now, being that it's raining, is lending us uh, his kitchen. Can we go? Let's go to cook. Come on. I've got to go and cook indoors. Oh, my goodness. Come on, chaps. I feel a change of plans coming. Well, this is not an ideal situation. We've got a kitchen, though. We're quite lucky with that. Yeah. The weather has been absolutely amazing up to that point <laughs> when I saw those clouds <laughs> going across and then to rain to rain. Oh, but I'm still in Sicily. I've still yeah. got the ingredients that I want. And we come up here and we found your wild boar. Yes. What are we going to do with it, Enzo? We're going to be cooking it. We're going to do a stew of um, wild boar. We need to peel some uh, vegetables because yeah. we need to marinate for 24 hours. You know the, the guy that gave us this kitchen, he, he said to me that these tomatoes are the tomatoes that you hang and uh, they get sun-dried. Yes. These, these are eventually sun-dried tomatoes. I didn't know that and it's very, very interesting. But I'm going to cut some of yeah. these in half and put them in my marinade. Yeah, they're not like the normal tomato. They yeah, still... Look. Stuck look, in there. Look at the colour. It looks like uh, that khaki fruit that we had. Yeah, it's very nice. Beautiful. Because okay. you call it the flavour is very good too. So what goes into this then? Uh, I've got onions, I th um, I've got onions, garlic, celery, tomatoes, carrots, juniper berries, uh, fennel seeds and cloves. And potatoes. And potatoes, what well, we're cooking with the potatoes, not in the marinade. No, not in the marinade, yeah. but we're going to be cooking with the potatoes. And we're going to be cooking also some uh, of these uh, leaves that I just picked up here. What leaves are they? Are so they wild leaves? Wild leaves. Wild leaves? Yes. They're like spinach? Yeah, like spinach. All right, so I've got some sage, some rosemary from the garden. Lovely. My carrots. And then the meat goes in. Let's just throw the meat in there. Yeah. Clean my hands. And a good, decent bottle of red vino. That, that, is, obviously, that is essential. Obviously Sicilian. Mm. So you cover the meat with vino. You cover it 24 hours later. Put all the spices in there. That's it. 24 hours later, you end up with this. OK? Mm. It changes even the color. So look at the change now on the color of the meat. The vegetables are still there. The onion, everything is still in there. You see, it's, it's getting like mauve. And now, mauve color. If you can move the potatoes, we need to cut this. Actually, I'll do that. You carry on with the potatoes. So our board, now we're going to cut it in cubes, and then we're going to stew it because this is going to be a great one-pot dish, isn't it? Yes. Eh? We are very high up here, aren't we? We like five thousand five, feet. Five thousand feet up. Five thousand feet up. It's, uh, you know, I suffered a vertigo on the way, on the way up here yesterday. Um, I was not happy, basically, looking down. <laughs> Aldo, why don't you do the stew and I do the vegetables, Sam? Yeah. yeah, I always but get the hard work, don't I? Yeah, you have to, yeah. You need a very hot pan and you need to sear this very quickly. Oh, look at that. Fire. Very, very quickly. Well, I'm a bit cold from the weather, so I'm going to... I need some fire. Yeah, nice and warm, yeah. not too much meat onto that pan because it cools the it cools the pan down and it stops searing the meat so you, you start boiling it so i want that meat really really seared properly okay so a little bit of the time so these are the vegetables that have been in the marinade so what, what, what i'd like you to do is chop them up a bit and we put them back into okay. the stew okay that goes down and there and then we sear the rest of it and then yeah. at the end, we deglaze the pan. Today. Up in the mountain here. <laughs> Look. I hope they can see us through the fires. <laughs> I'm rocking. They think you, know what? you know what? I'm laughing and joking because I can't believe that I've got a proper kitchen in front of me. Yeah, it's incredible. Oh, dear. OK, so that goes in. That goes in. Yeah, a little and bit of this. Uh, what else is going to go in? This Some goes fire. in, but I'm going to... Deglaze this pan with a little bit of this wine. 
Och de kan du ha en fullbyggd arbetsinbord där igen. Just for a few minutes, just to get warm and uh, make soft. Okay. Oh, that's manly. Ah, okay. oh, I've deglazed the pan oh. now. That we bring that up to boil. Yeah, we need to. Okay, so one tablespoon of Pasta. tomato paste. Tomato paste, yes. Did you season it? I'm gonna season uh, some pepper and uh, some salt. There you go. Okay, okay, so this is what it looks like once it's reducing. Okay. You're gonna use this uh, st yeah. stock. Now, because it was uh, yep, hot water. And now this is turned into a nice little vegetable stock. And it's going to go on there. And that's going to nice cook one. for about an hour. Okay, we an hour simmer. and 10 minutes. An hour and 10 minutes, Enzo says. So yeah, it's better. Whatever Enzo because says. Because again, we, got, we are eye up. Remember, you, we are eye up, so the 10 minutes is needed. Okay. Well, the minute. magic of El, Aldo and Enzo is that we always prepare something for you to eat. Or for us to eat, in this for case. In this case. Okay, Enzo, this is ready, if you ask me. Yeah? Can we, before we plate it up yeah. for everybody at home, I think we need to taste it ourselves. Sing a song. Sing a song, Enzo. Okay, let's plate up, my friend. Yep. Got the plate here. Put in the middle, yeah? I'm still enjoying the taste of the wild boar. So, what good. are we going to put on there to finish off? A little bit of olive oil on top of that? Yes. All the oil. Always. We need to do. Olive, olive oil. oil. And a little bit of salt. You want salt as well? Yeah. I'm going to dress the vegetable because I like to dress everything that goes onto a plate. But if you do this at home, make sure your hands are clean. And present it to your friends, family, kids, grown-ups. I've got an idea, Aldo. Mothers, fathers. With wild boar, red a wine is... A drop of vino is good, but it's necessary. It's a must, it's a must. Especially Nero d'Avola from, from this area? Yes, from this area. Beautiful. Aldo, salute, Enzo. salute and another good that dish. That was a very good dish. Very Shame good. about the weather. Well, that was worth weathering the storm. Join Aldo and Enzo next time when, come rain or shine, they will reveal more delicious Sicilian dishes. Weatherproof too.